Emma Colburn, Crested Butte, Colorado, ran the race of her life Monday morning, clinching the first Olympic women's steeplechase medal in U.S. history and posting Team USA's fourth women's American record so far in Rio. Coburn captures historic brands medal Coburn ran her own race from the gun, leading for the first two laps before settling into fourth behind Ivan Jepkmoy and Beatrice Chepkoek of Kenya and Ruth Jebet of Burundi. The force broke away from the pack just one kilometer into the race and made it a battle for the podium over the final stages. Jebet soon took the lead and made a time trial out of it, practically sprinting over the final laps. Jepkmoy, Chepkoek and Coburn kept things interesting in the hunt for silver and bronze. Coburn surged over the last 500 meters to pass Chepkoak for third, and looked as if she was about to eclipse Jepkmoy in the final 200 meters, but a move from Jepkmoy kept Coburn in the bronze position, giving the two-time Olympian the first Olympic medal in history for the U.S. in the women's steeplechase in an American record 9.07.63. Running consistent races in the pack, Colleen Quigley, St. Louis, Missouri, ran a personal best 9.21.10 for eighth while 2016 NCAA champion Courtney Frerichs, Neeks, Missouri, was 11th in 9 colon 22.87. Campbell Records Best U.S. Olympic Finish and Hammer History Recording The Best Finish Ever for a U.S. Woman in Olympic Hammer Throw Competition, Amber Campbell, Indianapolis, Indiana, placed 6th with her 5th round throw of 72.74 meters slash 238.8, the farthest throw ever in the games by an American. Campbell was 8th heading into the final three rounds and moved up to 5th after her best throw before dropping one spot. Diana Price, Old Monroe, Missouri, was 8th with a best of 70.95 meters slash 232.9 in round 3. Anita Wilotertig of Poland set a new world record in the final Monday, throwing 82.29 meters slash 269.11 on her third attempt to win gold. Three heats. Three wins for Team USA in women's 200 meters with a quick starting reeler of the Cote d'Ivoire pressuring her to her inside in Heat 8, 100 meters silver medalist Tori Bowie, Sand Hill, Mississippi, came off the curve in second and was able to speed past her over the final 100 meters and win easily in 22.47. Deja Stevens, Bayside, New York, ran a powerful curve and was never challenged on her way to winning the sixth heat in 22.45, and Jenna Prandini. Clovis, California, made easy work of her heat, winning from lane 1 in 22.62. Team USA goes 3-for-3 three three in men's steeplechase qualifying for the first time since 1936, three American men will be in the steeplechase final. American record holder Evan Jager, Algonquin, Illinois, was untroubled in heat 2, winning in 8 colon 25.86. Jager was content to run in 5th or 6th until the last two laps, moving up and taking the lead with one to go. Pushing off the final water jump, he eased to the finish and claimed his spot in the final. The fastest of the three heats started with Don Cabral, Glastonbury, Connecticut, settling into the back of the lead pack. Halfway through the race, Cabral started to move up and he was fifth with two to go. Cabral came off the last turn in third and kept that spot to automatically advance in 8 colon 21.96. Olympic newcomer Hillary Burr, Colorado Springs, Colorado, acquitted himself very well in his debut, winning the first heat in 8 colon 25.01 over two-time gold medalist Ezekiel Camboy of Kenya. Burr stared through the barriers like a veteran, moving up from mid-pack over the last half of the race and then taking the lead late on the final lap. Taylor Dollar Clay set up Olympic rematch in triple jump pit starting the defense of his 2012 Olympic title the right way. Christian Taylor, Fayetteville, Georgia, qualified for the final with his first jump of 17.24 meters slash 56.6.5, far beyond the auto-qualifying standard of 16.95 meters. Reigning Olympic silver medalist Will Clay, Phoenix, Arizona, took all three jumps and his best came in the third round where he went out to 17.05 meters slash 5511.25 to automatically advance. Chris Bernard, Corona, California, had a best of 16.55 meters slash 54.3.75 and did not advance. Clement Robinson advanced to 400 meters hurdles semifinal 2008 Olympic silver medalist Caron Clement, La Porte, Texas was out well in lane 2 of the first heat of the men's 400 meters hurdles and had the lead coming into the final 150 meters. The two-time world champion had a difficult final hurdle and ended up third in 49.17, but still easily advanced automatically to the semifinals.
running fast enough to lose his front bib number before the first hurdle. Byron Robinson, Chesapeake, Virginia, put himself in position to earn an auto-qualifying spot coming off the last turn and finished third in 48.98 in the fifth heat. A stutter at the fifth hurdle interrupted the rim of Michael Tinsley, Little Rock, Arkansas, and the 2012 Olympic silver medalist never got back into the groove as he ended up sixth in his heat in 50.18 and did not advance to the semis. Follow along with all of the action from the Rio Olympic Games by following Use It Fun Twitter, Facebook and Instagram using the hashtag hash Rio 2016. Fans can follow every second of the Rio Olympic Games on the NBC family of networks. All track dollar field action can be streamed live via the NBC Sports app and the broadcast schedule for tonight is as follows, Monday, August 15th, all times ET, 8 p.m. Dash midnight NBC Team USA medal table gold, 2, Michelle Carter, women's SP, 20.63 meters slash 678.25 R, 8 twelfths, Jeffrey Henderson, men's LJ, 8.38 meters slash 27 6, 8 13. Silver, 2, Tori Bowie, women's 100 meters, 10.83, 8, 13, Justin Gatlin, men's 100 meters, 9.89, 8, 14, Rons, 2, LaShawn Merritt, men's 400 meters, 43.85, 8, 14, Emma Colburn, women's 3,000 meters steeplechase, 9, 07.63 R, 8, 15,